Let's get ready to rumble. All right. Hey, guys. Hi, everyone. Hey, happy Friday. Good to see you. Yeah. So we are the Become Studios. My name is Sophie. I'm the Communications and Marketing Coordinator. And I'm here with Fred. VP Strategic Accounts. So today we are going to play some more uh, Tales from Candle Keep Tomb of Annihilation. If you don't know what the game is, it's the digital version of the Tomb of Annihilation board game. And stick with us today because we have a giveaway. Of we have the a great board giveaway. Game. Let me go get it. Yeah. Let me go get it. So, oh, this is heavy. We have this for you guys today and also a Steam key of our game. So uh, we're pretty excited. I hope we're, you're excited too. I see we have people in the chat. Hey guys. So today, what hey are everyone. we uh, showcasing today? Hey, today we have uh, lots of things to discuss. Uh, as you guys know, uh, we're really working hard on the game and we're listening to you guys playing the game and telling us, hey, we would would love to have this feature, this feature, this feature. Yeah. So what we're doing, we're delivering these features. So today we're going to talk about all latest update, uh, which... Was live yesterday, yesterday night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we've added um, great functionality. So it, one, uh, the first one was to indicate uh, the uh, ambush points on the, on the different tiles. So we've added a little effect as well as a tooltip. If you mouse over, yeah, we'll show it, you, you see later. it. And we'll we've see. also added um, uh, indications, uh, armor class indication on the monsters and on. The main heroes, as well as a another small icons where you just um, roll over it and you get um, all the uh, monsters info, as well as this monster is assigned to this hero. Yep. Uh, and also the one of the greatest features we've we've added is uh, you can actually see the hit percentage when you select a monster and one of your attack. So this way you can always select the right choice of attack. Because uh, you get the exact percentage of success with a little um, twenty-sided dice yeah, icon it, it looks right awesome. next to it. You get the percentage right on top of of your uh, heroes. And, and that's uh, not all because character. if you did not join our last uh, live stream, there was also an update before that yes. that revamped the whole crafting system. So no yes. more failures. You have the materials. You get your item for sure when you do your crafting. We've also added some, um, we've tweaked a little bit the encounter system because, uh, you know, we, we felt like from the response of the, the players that we needed to tweak it a little bit and uh, add some, um, you know, alternative ways to, uh, you know, <laughs> vanquish these uh, <laughs> well encounters. Said. So uh, we've, uh, we've made these tweaks. Uh, I think the community, the community of players currently playing the game uh, are super happy with what's going on. So uh, yeah, Keep so more to come, coming. more to come, by the way, more yeah. to come. We're working on two additional items. One is line of sight. Yeah. It's almost ready, I've seen it. Uh, so more to come about that in our next live okay. stream or, yeah. uh, or follow us on Facebook and see what's going on with that. And we're also thinking about uh, providing you guys with the ability to swap items between characters. That's a feedback we've received a lot. Yes. Can I trade items between my heroes? It's yes. something that we're looking into. And there was also optimization with the V-Sync. Uh, yes, your we did that as well. Yeah. And a bunch of uh, bug fixes, general optimization. So, hey, why don't we just jump in the game right let's, now let's jump in, and have see. a look at what is the latest content that is coming with the next update. All right. right. If you have any questions, um, we see all chats. I know we're on a lot of platforms right now. So if you do have any questions, just write something in the chat. And hey, ask your question away. We're here to answer all of your questions today, guys. And be sure you, you stay till the end. We're here for an hour. Um, and then we're going to give away a Steam key of Tales from Candle Keep, the game you see on screen right now, and the board game Tomb of Annihilation by WizKids. Yeah. Amazing giveaway, by the way. Amazing giveaway. This the board a, game. The if board you missed game. yesterday, yeah. we opened the premium box. It was amazing. So Jareel is saying in the chat, hey, I would love to see you guys eventually turn the other games in the series into video games. Of course, that's that's really what we want to do. Uh, so we'll see where yeah. it takes us, really. <laughs> Rasmus C is so freaking cool. Oh, yeah, so it's really, really cool. Have you, uh, I don't know if you did the fight. Uh, the fight is amazing as well. Did Pretty intense. Him? Yeah. Uh, so all right. So uh, I'll just. Uh, I I've selected Valendra. 
Because, oh, you know, Valendra is pretty Valendra tough. Valendra is like, I mean, yeah. yeah so, uh, let's try to, uh, <laughs> let's try to get Valendra down today. So, like, we see on screen right now the latest edition of the armor factor yes. um, that's displayed under your hero. It's the same thing with the monsters. So yep. now you can see, all right, what's the armor that I have? Uh, what do they need to roll and what do I need to roll to have like a better hit ratio? So that's very handy. It's something that was added in uh, yesterday's update. Yes. So this way you can make a smart choice when you're selecting which character you want to hit with. Which power? The different heroes yeah. and which power you should use. So that's definitely a, a great addition to the game. Thank you guys for uh, providing us with your comments. Uh, we're always eager to uh, provide you with the best experience, the, the best play experience you can get. Yeah, <laughs> well so, done. Going nicely, guys, it seems. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. So, all right, so let's spawn a monster. All right, that's that's where the fun starts. <laughs> so, oh, of yeah. course, I've spawned Jervalon. That's of course. not an easy it one. It has to be that one. Yeah. So let's bring uh, Dragon Bait next. Uh, so let's begin. All right. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit. Hey, Nicholas and Kevin on Facebook. How are you guys today? Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Good to see you guys. Uh, all right. So here uh, you guys can see you just mouse over the little uh, exclamation point icon for info and you get all the info about Gerald and Zombie, so... You can see who uh, controls him, too. Yeah, you, right right up there, right to his na uh, on the left of the thumbnails picture. Uh, you get the thumbnails of the the monster, and then you get just below it, you can see that Artist Simber control this monster. So AC 13, HP 4, attack is plus 5, damage is 2. And there's two different attacks, so punch and rend. So that's so. something you can see when it's like your hero face or outside of your hero face. Yeah. You can now see the information of the monster. And the other addition, which we love a lot, at least I love it. I love it too, <laughs> I'm pretty All right, sure. All right, so if I choose my one of the Swift Strike, for instance, I can see a 20-sided 20 20-sided 20 dice uh, icon appear and I see that I can get, I get a 57% chance of it, but if I, Pick up my Oli Adventure, so I, I can see this chance increase 94, to 84. 84 rather, yeah. So uh, this this way, you know, providing more context. It's all about providing more context and and uh, choices. And so you got it. I oh, think right. I did the right choice for this <laughs> <laughs> attack. Uh, and then yeah, I'm just gonna change to next turn. Channel is asking, hey, is this uh, board game a giveaway exclusive to US? Um, no, it's not. You can enjoy Worldwide. the giveaway. Yep. Is there any advantage, Joriel is asking on Twitch, uh, to having a, a different party size? So, yes. advantage and what's the difference if you play yeah. solo? Uh, I love to have three characters. Some some people like to just play I one play character. I play the full party. I play yeah. always full. Yeah, I did, I did the <laughs> I did the game with four uh, characters. Uh, my favorite ways is, is with three characters. Because uh, this way you get a little bit less encounters. It's easier to control. Let's, let's, uh, but um you know you can play the way you want because the board game you can play solo if you want so that's these are all options it's about your preference yeah. and how you want to play all right so i don't know if you guys notice but you know you can always rotate using the q um the keyboard key q this is not a rebroadcast we're yeah. live right now yeah. <laughs> just saying so all right so same for ashara i can see if i'm using acid splash i'm getting 78 percent it chance and if I'm using chromatic orb which is more damage though I'm getting uh, 52% ah that's is it a risk or not yeah, 15? I'll, 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 I'll risk it yeah, yeah, yeah I missed you, missed you know it, I did the bad hey. choice but anyway <laughs> uh, alright so let's continue the game waiting on curse uh, of strad board game and the steam version <laughs> <laughs> I'd like it too. Trust me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's you know we the response so far is pretty good. Oh, by the way, we're yeah. uh, we're on uh, Green Man. Yeah, Green Man Gaming Green Man and Bundle Gaming. Stars. If you guys want to yeah. get the game, and on Green Man, there's a pretty nice rebate on it. Yeah. You want to go check it out. And hey, while you mention it, I just want to give a special shout out to the team of Codename uh, oh, yeah. with Idol Champion. Uh, of the Forgotten Realms, they have just released their update Tomb of Annihilation with additional adventures and a lot of cool content around the Tomb of Annihilation. And it's really awesome to see all of those like D&D &D games 
around two move annihilation and idol champions as just had it there let us update yeah. i play this game every day I, yeah I me and my wife were playing as well it's super fun and, and by the way you know what we love to to, to say about their game is uh it, since it's an idle type of game, so you can play their game while you're playing horror games. I do that all <laughs> or the time. You, can, yeah. you know, that's that's uh, that's really uh, it's a super nice game. Uh, love it. Go check it out, Idle Champions. Yeah. And, and we'll free, be guys. we'll be doing a live stream uh, showing up uh, their, their game, game uh, next, next week. week in next the coming, week. Like, coming streams, yeah. we are going to play Idle Champions. So two of annihilation update there with cool adventures. Yep. So it's really awesome, and we love the guys at Codename. Yeah, Codename kudos awesome. to our friends at, yeah. at Codename. They're great. All right, so slowly making my way uh, to Valendra. To Valendra. The sorceress I hope, is I hope there. I won't get. Uh, so get, guys, if you are new, I get there in one piece. I hope you get it. If you're new to our, our broadcasting, you're not sure what this game is. Um, this is Tales from Candle Keep. Just released like very recently on October 11th, yep. um, and. Essentially, what the game is about, it's the digital version of the Adventure System board games. So the Tomb of Annihilation by WizKids was released, well, just like two days ago on the 18th. Mm -hmm. And we are the digital version of that board game. So you can play uh, the, the uh, Adventure System on PC for the time being and maybe on other platforms down in the future, perhaps. We hope so. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely see. Waiting for hundred version of it, so Wild Darf wants to play on his phone. All right, hey guys. Maybe. <laughs> hey guys, there, there's a couple of additional elements oh, I would like to discuss. Yeah, let's go. So you see this uh, small animation here, small effects. We wanted the animation to not be that obvious and, and just put a symbol on, on the tile or something like that for the ambush points. Uh, so this way you can see that there's a possibility for an ambush there, so a monster can spawn based on an encounter. So you know ahead of time, and it's good for strategy, for depending on your strategy, uh, you can either say, all right, I'm going to live with it because the ambush, yeah. ambush is, uh, site is located far away from me, so I'm just going to let the encounter happen, I won't interrupt it. So. Uh, you know, it's good more to know. context. Yeah, good to know where it is. Sometimes uh, you get encounters, for example, oh, the nearest hero near the closest ambush site gets damaged, or a monster spawns on the nearest ambush site, so you know where they are located now. Uh, and you guys were talking about how many characters I like to bring in a party, or depending, so Sophie likes to bring four characters, I like to bring three, uh, Simon, and, and lots of friends, they like one or two characters, it's all different. As long as you guys are having fun and are successful, uh, the game is, you know, is doesn't mind if you play with one or four. Yep. So um, <laughs> with Ashara though, Ashara is so amazing. You need Ashara in your party because she can fly above traps. Oh, you're doing it with Artis, yeah? Yeah, but I did it with Artis. <laughs> but anyway, you, you know, with her, you can just fly above traps and uh, get chest. So, all right, so I get a random spell. I got a question for you um, from Facebook. Gavin Ramstead, is this game able to be played well on a Windows-based tablet, like Galaxy Book or Surface? So the game at the moment, it's uh, out on Steam. It's not out on... Uh, uh, Windows oh, you're asking Windows-based tablet. I I'll have to get... Uh, yeah, we need to, to check on this. Maybe, maybe. I, I saw Nick was in the chat, so maybe he can answer you <laughs> directly. <laughs> So, is there a way we can interact with you? Um, outside of the live streams, of course, you can email us. So, support talesfromcanalkey.com or um, feedback. Or post a, 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 like a thread on our uh, Steam forums also. Or send us a message on Facebook. Many platforms you can get a hold of us. <laughs> Looks super cool. Thank you, Misomu. Kelty, what's up? All right. Oh, so Nova Damus has a great question here. So if a monster can spawn there, what if you place the hero on the ambush spot? Will the monster still be able to spawn? That's a really good question. Honestly, uh, I I would I'm say not no. Sure. I would but say no. I have I would to say no. check if you're standing, with standing. We yeah. need to check with design for real. <laughs> on this one, I think it happens. You guys have maybe. awesome questions. You put us on the spot. Yeah. Oh, ready. <laughs> Uh, this one I don't uh, have the Nick answer Nick is to. answering the question on Windows tablets. We don't support Windows tablets for the moment. Thank you so much. Team is all there. 
uh, behind the cameras, but they're here. <laughs> yeah, finally I got the good example. So spawn the new monster yes. on the closest empty ambush site. Oh, it's the closest empty. So we got we got your answer. That's your <laughs> if the ambush site is not empty, meaning that there's no hero standing on it. Yeah, uh, that's going. Uh, the spawn will happen, but if there's a hero, or on another it, monster, for example, or another monster, the the ambush would go to the next empty ambush location, Frederick, if if any. Frank Martin, hello! Thanks for tuning in. Good to see you. Hi, Mr. Martin. We are showcasing the latest content update and discussing so what is coming with the game. So, we're so I won't interrupt this. Uh, encounter because mm -hmm. uh i know that there's an ambush right there but i just want to demo it. it so let's take it we we'll see boom we got a zombie uh that just spawned where am i reading yeah. the questions from um so we're live on twitch at the moment but also on facebook on mixer and on youtube so we're taking questions from all platforms right now <laughs> so you maybe you don't see them on your platform but there's a lot of you guys from all over the the interwebs right now. <laughs> Thanks for the answer, of course. I could just see the character and the spawn merging into each other. That's just like, <sighs> that's just like intense. <laughs> you see guys, since the, the game is fully procedural, uh, it just happened that, you know, uh, I'm in the dead end. <laughs> so I have to move and- You have to go another, back. Yeah, I have to go back. And the way, if you want to do it quickly, so, you guys can see I can burn my action and my move. So I go into the yellow portion of the the movement grid. Yep. So this way I can move kind of pretty pretty far. But you know I'll have to uh, face so an he encounter. Knows he has a boss to fight, so yeah. he doesn't want to go all places because when yeah. you do a boss fight, you don't want to split the party, right, guys? Yes. <laughs> Uh, all right, so next monster to spawn would either be a Jarlan or Jarlan zombie. Yeah, I don't want I don't want that. I'm gonna interrupt that. So yes, it's an okay platform to follow the contest. So any platforms you're on right now, Facebook, Mixer, Twitch, or YouTube, you can participate in the giveaway. Yeah, and it's a great giveaway, by the way. Again, the board game. Telling you guys. And a Steam key. board game and a Steam key to Tales from Candle Keep. And One winner takes everything home. Takes it all. Yep. All right, biting insects. No problem. Don't get here. Yeah, yeah. not that. It, it, fire shield with Ashara. Here we I go. I always say it, but that's that's my favorite. All right, so let's move uh, dragon bait right here. And let's yes. see if you found the sorceress yeah, there. Yeah, found the sorceress ah, there. there she is. I love the boss team song in yeah. the game. And Valendra is not easy, by the way. She's so, tough. I hope. The whole half last team last uh, last stream we did was a really close call on Rasni. It was I was like one HP left. Uh, two no of my characters were dead. Surges. No more healing surges. Been lucky. Uh, Ace actually. Uh, Ashara <laughs> Ace to save save. Yes, me. I remember. Yeah. Let's oh, see. Let's epic. see how we fare this time. So I'll bring Ashara right there. And what I'll do is, uh, since I'm next to Artus, and Artus is a little bit it, uh, he suffered a couple, uh, a little bit of damage. I'm gonna add Mage Armor on him. I'm gonna buff him up. Plus armor. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see. So I got 42% hit chance using uh, Chromatic Orb. So or you I have can to use... shield oh. uh, daily. When I play with Ashara, I use the raise where she does three hits. Of a lot of damage, so I'm all like damage when I play Shara. It's more like defensive. Oh so god, oh! a critical hit! So <laughs> that's you. gonna help a lot. Hey, so this starting is a great the game, Gavin Sain. Is this also um, able to be a multiplayer in the future? Yeah, there are lots of plans with that game. Uh, you know, we're thinking co op, we're thinking multiplayer, but we don't know when, and we just wanted to start with by nailing the single player experience. Uh, I've repeated that a couple of times already, but you guys are helping us. You know, we're, we're really tuning up the game, making sure that everybody's happy with it, and the more play people that are using it, the more comments we're getting, we're addressing uh, the more. Uh, we want the to most, nail the, the most possible. Mm. Uh, so, all right. Oh, this is a really bad encounter. Oh. So, do I take the chance? So, that curse. A dice roll on a 18 or higher, lose a healing surge. 
If heroes have no healing surges left, this is, this has no effect. Of course, I still have my two healing surges. Yeah. I'm going to take the chance. So you know what? When I <laughs> when I was against, I was playing uh, a Sererak and I lost it. Oh during God! The this bath. happens to me. It happens and to I, me. Oh, well. there's just a little chance. Uh -huh. You know, only like 17 or 18. Oh and God! Never 17. <gasps> I'm still safe, so but close. barely. All right. So Valindra moves a lot, and Valindra can teleport to other locations, so you have to run after her. It, it, it's a mess. As soon as she starts um, teleporting, it's a mess. So we need to get rid of her pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Artus... Yeah, uh, even, the, even when you're fighting a, a main fight, a main boss, you can still, you know, dis explore more time. time. There are some fights where you're locked up, though. It's intended. And, and it's only in the digital game that it feels like that. Boom. What did I got? And sometimes Sorry. you explore when it's a yeah. boss and you totally shouldn't yeah. have. Because you get a, a three monster tiles on you. <laughs> Alright, so, so... how do you enter the giveaway? Um, we'll be asking a question and the person that answers the question the fastest gets the giveaway. So it's not a raffle since we're on multiple platforms. It's going to be a question. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> so it looks like I'm pretty, pretty pretty lucky so far because uh, I did my daily with uh, my Grievous Strike and 6 damage oh, we're in normal mode You're and my Nobicon. characters are <laughs> uh, have like plus 3 swords and plus You're 4 swords so, so that's question. why it's so easy so Jorila has a question for you so there was a 5th character in the game a dwarf yes. I heard from a YouTuber so the dwarf uh, the, I heard okay uh, the character is a druid it's, a, it's, it's not a dwarf it's a druid it's a human yeah, uh, Kuwasha, yeah. um was reviewing the game. Are you guys going to be adding him into the future? Uh, there's a lot of talk about it. Uh, of course, uh, we're thinking maybe as a DLC. Uh, uh, so far, we, you know, we're not thinking too much ahead. Uh, we're, uh, of course, there's going to be something in the next month or so. We're we're still figuring it out. Uh, adding a characters like the druid uh, in involves a lot of effort because this character is metamorphosing yeah. into two it different transforms. animals, it transforms, it polymorph. So uh, there, there's a lot in there to be added. Uh, we don't think we'll have enough time in the next 30 days. Oh, a dwarf! Uh, you know, Legends of Dreads is really something we're looking for. And in Legends of Dreads, you can uh, play Brunor <laughs> Battle Hammer. And he's a dwarf, so you might uh, have the Maybe. chance to play a dwarf. Uh, hey, so we the have another awesome question. If I play Tales from Canon Keep, would I be spoiled from the Tomb of Annihilation board game, or vice versa? Um, so Chris answered this question on the Wizard stream with Dragon Talk, uh, Dragon Plus last time. And you know, so you can see if you play the game, you get, you know, you see the characters, you see some things, but it's it's not. I would say you would have minor spoilers if mm -hmm. I can say, but the experience is different. Um, so the way it was it was playing it is, you know, it's it's not as if you would play one and would ruin the the uh, experience of the other. Uh, I I think that one good point is what, whether you play the board game or the digital game, it's a way for you and your friends to just talk about something in common, and it brings you guys together, and that's what D and D is about. Right? Yeah, yeah, and, and most probably he'll have different <laughs> things to talk when you're playing the board game. Not really, spo it, it, yeah, it's based on the same content. We cannot lie, but each time you're playing these type of game, they're, they're all the experience is always different. Yeah, it, either you're playing. Uh, I can have an easy fight currently, or a very hard fight. It's the next question. time I'm playing the same quest. So all right, this this is something that I don't know if we've mentioned, but <laughs> since last time we've killed Rasni, so Rasni dropped his sword, mm. so and it becomes an item in your uh, loot Inven bar yeah. inventory. So let's use it. Just uh, so all right, so I'll just uh, throw Rasni Flame Tongue Great Sword to Valindra. See what's going to happen. Uh. Wow, <laughs> miss, but at least I get one. And it's not one destroyed. Damage. And it's not destroyed, but I cannot use it again in the same yeah. uh, quest. So I'm going to move a Shara right there. So I'm going to discover a time 
and I won't have to suffer. Or I, crossing my finger that I won't have to. Yeah, it's a normal tie, yeah. so no encounter. So would the DLCs be free updates, or would they likely have a small cost? So it's not determined at this point. So we'll be able to give you guys all the info on that. Depending on the size of the yeah. DLC and uh, the added, you know, the, uh, you need you guys need to have for your money. So that's what we're looking at. So if we feel that the, the additional content we're adding uh, is providing with way more ways to play and we have something in mind, so we might add the DLC content on top of it, but that won't be that expensive. We're gonna keep adding like free updates for sure. Yeah, oh yeah. And Jack's on that topic. You, any new updates happening to the digital version as of today? Um, so a lot of new updates have happened since we launched uh, yep. on October 11th. Crafting system has been revamped, so no longer crafting failure. So you can craft your items as soon as you have the materials for them. And the new tool tips we see, percentage yes. chance armor uh, factor here, more class on your heroes, and a couple tweaks here and there. And we keep reading your feedbacks on the forums and getting your... Um, your There's input. a new one next week. New There's updates. a new one next week with uh, Line of Sight. There's going to be a uh, I've seen it, I've played with it, it's fun, it's great. So based on player suggestion, um, so when you when you play the game and you want to see if you have line of sight with a specific monster, you just roll over the monster and a little eye icon right, will appear right next to the uh, shield icon, uh, next to the head of your character. Yeah. So, alright, I'll have to suffer that. She's not doing great, so no, I think No, she's not, but she just healed herself. Ah. But that means, oh. You still and have And Dragon Bay just one. died, but I have last stand. Last, so last stand, great. Right? So if we up. do make the other board games, and that's a question from N Major on Twitch, can we combine them like the board games? And a critical hit. Oh, hey! And <laughs> Andra is... But honestly, this fight was way more easier than it should have been because uh, I was wearing gear. lots of extra gear, uh, like plus three, plus four items. So yeah, could you combine like Tales from Canon Keep Tomb of Annihilation with another board game that oh, we yeah. would make? Oh yeah, it's based on the same system. So if you can do it in the board game, you'll be able to do it. And that's the, you know, that's the essence, a, a yeah? key yeah. element of why we decided to move forward with uh, creating the board game because we have lots of ideas and lots of ways to uh, improve the gameplay in the future and add more features and add more thematic and yeah. like Ravenloft, mm -hmm. uh, Ravenloft style and Legends of Druid styles, Wrath of Ashrolon, you know all of these great titles Temple and all of these yeah. heroes would be really fun. I mean, I can't wait to try Druid the Orden playing Tomb of Annihilation and bring Ashara. With into... Bruno Battlehammer <laughs> or Wolfgar playing Legends of Dritz. So there's all all of these characters can move from one story to the other. That's the plan. That's that's what we have in mind. Will you be able to toggle the line of sight option on and off? Uh, not as of now. We've not thought about it. But the, honestly, it's not really. And we've made some cleanup as well. We're making some a little cleanup in the. Um, uh, in terms of, uh, there are a lot of icons that were showing while they were not. You, you don't need these icons oh, when, the when playing. Yes. Uh, they're the little uh, octagon mm -hmm. kind of icons. So we're gonna. So the the line of sight, which just it's, it's just a little bleep, you know, and it just uh, it just appear and roll over. I don't think it will uh, provide disagreement to the player. Just uh, it's. It's not something big that that bleep on top of your character head, so it's just uh, it, uh, it's just there to indicate that hey, okay, all right, I can see this guy who I cannot. That's it. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Awesome. All right. So you guys feel for uh, what are we taking on now? <laughs> you guys feel for a Serac. Do we show? Have him? we? Have we? Have we shown a Sarah? We've only yet? shown the figure in oh, right, the mini. Right, right, we haven't okay. gotten Let, to let's him keep yet. A yeah. For, uh, for um, next time, maybe next like time? later, not to spoil anybody. Uh, which quest should I do? So Valendra. Um, Valendra. The heart. What did Rasni? Hunted hunt. 
Yeah, I want to do under one. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And oh, oh we, let's start with the uh, nanny, nanny poo poo poo, 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 which leads to the undead okay, hunt. So this way you can see that do you play the story unfold from uh, horrific, maybe this time. Let's, let's go horrific. Horrific this time. Right. You know, in horrific, the traps and the warded skeletons. Oh, oh my god, you gotta watch yourself. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see if everything is to my taste here. I think I'm all good. I like jump. Um, Shara might switch ace for web. Because <laughs> that's the way I usually play a Shara with web. And see Dragon Bay last time, of course, that's a given. And instead of Grievous Strike, I'll use Compel Duel. Uh, Compel Duel is for that specific fight the challenge monster must move adjacent to dragon bait it's like a oh. uh, like you're uh, taunting the uh, the villain to focus on you oh well, that's great yeah. I have not used this power and I'm thinking that hey that could be handy yep. in a lot of situations and still five damage and it's a plus 12 attack and <laughs> unless you get to why don't you see if you can take down the stone juggernaut on nightmare on hard <laughs> effect we saw Chris and Barth try on the <laughs> juggernaut and they managed to do it at the last second it was it, they, no no they didn't kill the juggernaut no but they, they, they escaped yeah, they, they, they managed they were to, able escape. to escape and there's an achievement for yeah, defeating the stone juggernaut I've never tried a stone juggernaut at, at Horrific. I have an, a normal for my achievement. No, it, <laughs> that's but, easy. Yeah, that's right. yeah. <laughs> Horrific? Yeah, I, uh, yes. You guys want it? Oh, I'll try it. Why not? Uh, we also wanted uh, Eruption Horrific in chat, Nicholas. But for real, you should play it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Nanny Poo Poo. Yeah, this, this one's at Horrific. You guys can see uh, with the little icon here. Cool. I'm in horrific mode, so find your way uh, just the beginning of the quest. You discover six tiles, but first, I'm gonna buff myself, and I'm going to apply mage armor to Artus, and then nice. move on. All right. So there's ways to zoom in, yes. In yes, of course. Yeah. And it looks like awesome. Like and you can uh, also. Which one's <laughs> you can move using uh, the keyboard. You can uh, move with W A S T, yeah. yeah. And we also had some some questions of people. Hey, I would like to be able to zoom even further than, than that to be able to see the whole map. You know, when when you're against a villain or whatnot. This is something we can uh, trigger and add a, an option in uh, the game option. So if you want to have your zoom further, that's definitely something that's not a big deal to have. Yeah. So I'll what's the level cap in the game? I'm 43. Tech yeah. is saying. Uh, there's no cap. You always get new chests. You always get new loot. So this way, that's a good way to get some uh, pretty rare material. So you just level up. You know, playing with your characters. There's no cap. There's no cap. You can go 150. And then you get better. Chests. You get better chests. Um, yeah. So I, I won't see. We don't want to spoil. Much more because I don't want to yeah. spoil what might be coming up. Yep. So uh, keep eyes on that, though. Keep yeah. eyes on that. All right. So uh, dragon bait. All right. So I'm going to apply aurorism to Artis because uh, that's gonna buff his uh, HP yep. and uh, AC as well, and just move dragon bait here. Good to know. Thanks. Of course. Right, so let's Batiri Warrior. Just, Batiri Warrior. All right, you yep. want to know what's what's going on with Batiri Warrior? I just um, roll over uh, the uh, the info icon and I I get uh, the big picture. So he's attacking with a spear. He's got two HP, uh, 15 AC, eight attack, base attack, two damage, and special ability, deep wounds. That that's that's pretty uh, nasty. On a roll of 18 or higher, Batu Warriors deals plus one damage. So that's me. That that means three damage for one hit. Yeah. And if he crits, then can go up to four. Uh, if Touch. the monster is within one tile of a hero, it moves adjacent. So you get all the behavior of the monster. <laughs> so that can really help you uh, with the choice you're making. Yeah. And we were talking about line of sight. So if I would 
want to verify if I have line of sight with this character with Artus, you know, the little eye icon would just appear uh, right and next to you. And you have you. the eye. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So, let's use the bow and so boom. So, there has been a lot of feedback regarding um, maybe an undo button that you move, but hey, I didn't want to click there. This I one made a is. I would, we would, honestly, this is a tough one. This is a really tough one because uh, you can break the game balance a lot. Uh, the, the game difficulty will kind of decrease a little bit. Uh, but also that's a lot of work. For this one, it's a lot of work. So it's going forward, going backward, going forward, going backward. Uh, we're still investigating if there's not an easy way to uh, add that uh, option. But as of now, we've decided to move forward with other priorities, which we just discussed. But that's definitely something that uh, is in, the, in our backlog. Yeah, looking into it. So are there any NPC characters? Well, there's uh, plenty of NPC parts of the story. As you progress, mm -hmm. you come across different NPCs. Um, like Iku, for example, she's your guide in the game. So different, uh, different characters and even villains uh, you come across as NPCs. Good question. <laughs> Would it be possible in a future update to show both the numbers that are rolled when a player rolls with advantage or with disadvantage? So of course, yep. when you have advantage, you roll twice and you take the best one, disadvantage. Um, so would we be able this to is, see... Uh, this is pretty high on our list. Currently, we just need to find a way, a good way from a UI standpoint to uh, better show the, right, the, the, yeah. the dice roll. Uh, yeah, that's definitely something that uh, we'll be looking at pretty soon. Yeah, so... And that's a good suggestion. Yeah, we uh, feel like our we, UI is, is, you know, um, crowded already. Yeah. So we want to optimize as to where we'd be showing that sort of info. So definitely looking into that. So I have, uh, you know, the encounter is mentioning that I'm going to have an ambush. I know where the ambush location is. I have one right here and I have another one right oh, and there, one right, right down next down to me. Too. Yeah. yeah. So let's see what's going on with this. So right behind me, of course. And luckily, uh, I have my fire shield. shield on. So let's see if we can... Yeah, so I got 68% chance to hit that battery, battery warrior with the bow. 47 with the dagger. So of course, I'm going to select the bow because I'm one tile away, even though I'm pretty close. You know, it's based on the board <laughs> game rules. So... Uh, I can shoot with an arrow. If I'm on the same tile, I cannot shoot with an arrow. Yeah, Technotron. Yep. I put my Terrafolk NPC in my player's game to give them a little <laughs> ride to the next city. It's a little nod to you guys. That's amazing. This is great. You know what? You should do something in your game that Terrafolk. <laughs> if it rolls 17 or higher, it can steal an item. Yeah. So I don't should... know if you guys were aware of that, but when you're fighting the Terrafolk in the game... Where did my boots go? <clears throat> He can steal items. You should totally do that to your players. <laughs> steal something like very, I don't know, something very funny. <laughs> Is there a roadmap of what you guys are working on for the game so we can kind of see what's being worked on so we don't keep asking for things we already have been requested? So, day-to-day um, -day information you can find on uh, Steam, on our forums and Facebooks where we post updates on what we're working on right now and what's coming down the road, but we don't go over like what's coming next month. Because a lot of things are like in discussions right now, yep. so we don't want to confirm something that has not been started yet. Yeah, and please, guys, don't forget that we just we just launched, so we're like a week. So uh, yeah, yeah, in a week into launch, literally, so a week and a day. Uh, so we've been pretty quick, and that's our that was our intent to listen to our community, make sure that the that the people that are embracing the game love it, talk about it, and. Uh, and make proper adjustment pretty quickly so that's why we're doing even two updates per week sometimes uh so but uh as soon as we know more and we're fully set on what's going to be what's going to come next we, we totally will provide you with you some guys. more information yep it's not that we want to own information True. it's just that we want to make sure that we provide you with the right information Right, so I got rid Congratulations ah. on the launch. Thank you thank very you, much. Thank you. 
So I, I guess I'm gonna just reiterate that the game is out now on different bundles. So yes. um, we're out on Bundle Stars, Greenman Gaming. So you guys can go get the game there for a certain discount. Too. Yeah, I think it's 28% off go on Greenman it Gaming. It's also, uh, I don't remember exactly, but it's also a, a special Stars. offer on Bundle Stars. So if you haven't bought the game yet, yep. you wanna go check it out. <laughs> it's great. Nice. So, hey, I love what I'm seeing here. Thank you, Gavin. It, is it discounted on Steam? So, uh, the discount on Steam lasted for a week yep. and it ended on Wednesday at noon. So, we had a full week of discount on Steam and uh, it'll likely come back, you know, with a... Uh, yeah, it will likely come back uh, uh, when sales happen, but uh, that's the way Steam works. For the first 30 day, your game is... Uh, you get one week of rebate and then after that you need to be uh, at your uh, regular price regular price yeah. for 30 days and then after that you can yep. do uh, whatever sales you want to do but it's currently in sales on sales on other platforms like we just said um, uh, gaming uh, star bundle stars, bundle stars and, and greenman gaming green yeah gaming. definitely jay that definitely that's something the marketing team is working on <laughs> it really really uh I would say uh, passionately, never ending process. <laughs> oh, yeah. But hey, I'm going to just. And bring Sophie's this up. doing a great, great job. If you by guys way. are Twitchers or YouTubers or bloggers or media or whatever, do email us. Email us. You want to create content, you want to make videos, reviews, just uh, send us an email media at talesfromcandlekeep.com. Link us to your channel, blog, Twitch, whatever you guys are doing, and we'll definitely see. Uh, you know what we can provide for you for you in your company. So it looks like I have a lot of company currently. <laughs> I'm not really <laughs> paying attention to what's going on. Uh, Ring of right, winter, so, you know. Yeah, I know, but uh, let's let's begin with acid splash uh, to begin with, because I figured the second part of the quest, which is uh, survive the, the zombie assault. So I have one out of five, uh, and then after that, there's another <laughs> there's another part of that quest. Uh, to that quest. Should I keep my hopes up for a multiplayer? It's in the looks. We are definitely open to heading that down the road. So of course, Fred was saying earlier, we have a couple things we want to work on first, but co-op and multiplayer are part of the plan for, for this title, for sure. Alright. Let's try to figure it out. Survive a zombie asshole, so you have lots and lots of yeah, zombies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, two closest. Oh, I cannot interrupt that. That two more monster to spawn. No. All right, let's see if I can survive that. You, you, you said that I was skilled. You're skilled. You can definitely. You. I'm not sure if I'm skilled enough <laughs> to, to survive. Do you have like artist in Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's artist gonna help. Uh, like, I hope he's going to. Yeah. Don't forget, guys, we're in horrific mode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Swarm yeah. of zombies. Uh, right uh, you now. need to pay attention when you're playing this game. So of course, yeah. Thank you. Yes, I know. I need uh, some. Ocean of feeling. <laughs> so Fred, did that? you want to uh, discuss localization? Oh yeah, uh, really good news. Uh, we're currently looking into localizing the game into six additional languages. Uh, French is one of them, of course. We're French Canadian. So <laughs> French, French is uh, is uh, is a must, and uh, different additional language uh, languages. Uh, if I remember correctly. But I, I just want to make sure, we, maybe we announce the We're languages We're going to post it. Community. Yeah, just yeah. keep keep your mind that um, localization is happening and in a matter of like two weeks or something, we're going to That's what we're update. aiming for. Any plans for free content update or paid content? So the answer is yes, so to both. Yeah. Uh, we may have free content updates, you know, small updates constantly, like we did an update yesterday, we have more updates coming next week, and paid content DLCs for big game editions coming also down yeah. the road. Lilo, thanks for your question. <laughs> Do you have a fireball in your pocket? Yeah, I, I just I just triggered my <laughs> fireball, but uh, it looked like oh I no. hit it. Uh, oh my god, it's going so bad. So you know you only have to kill four or more. Yeah. Yeah, but after that, you know, there's, a, there's something else. Happening. Oh, so that's I totally, right. totally lost control of that game, <laughs> and, and, and I'm falling apart. All right. All right. So let's see our artists. If artists can get rid of a lot of zombie. Yeah. Oh, the damage was like. Oh, and I killed the ward. It's killed. You missed so. Much. <laughs> 
And I missed. Oh man, you no, missed. No, no. It didn't go no. well. All right. But you know what? You and other zombies are spawning. When All right, so this is horrific mode. Uh, <laughs> totally lost control. Sorry about that. Uh, what I'll do that's is... That's awesome. Uh, I think I I'm, <laughs> like this is so good. that's a lot of monsters. In team for Halloween, yeah. you know? So I could see, see a movie made out of this right now. I don't know if I can. <laughs> web and run! <laughs> yeah, I can definitely web and run. But you have zero healing surges. I think I can get two like this. I have it two. I get hopey. <laughs> That's right, that's right. You never know, you never know. I'm out of eating surges anyway. Hey, and both my heroes Channel are dead. to know what are our favorite magic items in the game. My favorite magic item? Oh, uh, God. I know uh, mine. Ring of protection. Ring? Yeah. Yeah, I love the ring of protection because that's really helpful. Uh, provides you with a plus one bonus to the AC. Depending on the... Yeah, that's why we want to have the swap items between characters. Because currently the item is on Ashara, which is great. But yeah. doing different games, sometimes the Ring of Protection like is that. on. Um, uh, I love the Boots of Elv Elvenkind because they allow yeah. you to block like encounters, time yeah. drops, and you have like an encounter. Oh, that's so handy. So I'm gonna web a couple. Crystal Ball, yeah. Crystal Ball for a twin. Oh counters. yeah, Crystal Ball when you're doing a hard boss fight is yes. amazing. You need to have one for a boss. Yeah. Like I always try to to yeah, find one. Yeah, you go farm a little bit, get one, and then. So I think we're totally doomed here. I think it's looking awesome for the zombies. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I think uh, I'm pretty much done. I think the uh, this, yeah. Oh. I still have a last time. I don't know. Maybe Dragon Bay can just kill everything <laughs> with a roar. I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's see, it's getting crowded here, but he, as you guys can see, sometimes the interface can look a little bit crowded, <laughs> but if you zoom in, you have a way clearer picture. Alright, so let's see if I can do double... 36% does not look good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're going to get rid of these um, small icons that are not necessary not at the yet. moment when it's not their turn. So this way it's gonna clean up a little bit uh, the, the, the space uh, so you, and you'll see better. It's very kind of you to yeah, <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I just did. Yes. All right, so I think we're done. You can escape and go back to map, but you keep your um, you yeah, keep you keep your you stuff. Keep, you, keep, you keep the stuff that you've uh, gained during the adventure, but you're not keeping yeah. the, the chest that you've uh, picked up. If you fail. So now this is not D&D Beyond. They were streaming just before us. What an awesome stream it was. So we are on the Tales from Candle Keep team. This is a, a new, we just launched a digital board game, yep. a digital version of the board game Tomb of Annihilation. That by the way, we're about to give away. We have yeah. like a couple minutes before we finish. So stay around. We're going to give away this board game right here. Great board game, guys. One of you guys, Tomb of Annihilation and... We're also giving a Steam key of Tales from Candle Keep, the game that you see on screen. So, do very you... nice giveaway. Very cool giveaway. So, do you have a question you want to ask them, Fred, or do I just go ahead and, and jump in? Anything um, specific you you want to challenge them with? Yeah, today we've discussed. Uh... Oh, I have a good one. <laughs> you guys are ready before you ask. Yeah, question? you guys ready? You, you guys you ready? Guys That's a great ready? giveaway. Great giveaway. It's, All right. It's, it's just new so... from WizKids. <laughs> yeah, new Whiskid game, of course. We love uh, Whiskids. Uh, these are great guys. Uh, so you guys ready? I see ready, ready. ready. All right. So I'm checking so, chats here and here. Let's hear it. All right. So look like uh, I just played. And uh, what type of monster was spawning from everywhere <laughs> <laughs> during my latest game? So do you want their names or their categories? I, I just want to have the, the categories. Okay. What kind of monster? Let's we're see. spawning everywhere and was going out of control. We have an emoji. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, we have, we have I we think... Have, I've seen this, Dr. This one, Jess. This one first? I saw this one here. All right, okay, go. So you you know better. I, I think Twitch was... I, I'm looking Twitch at, was faster? I'm looking at the times here, right. and it seems Ellie Darkheart was the first on timers. Ellie Darkheart from Twitch. It was the quickest on answering the question. 
So, Heli, you on Twitch, you can just um, please whisper tales from Candlekeep. And a big congrats. Or email by the way. us. A big so congrats. This board game is yours. And, and the digital version, Tales you can from Candlekeep. the Steam key of this game. <laughs> But don't don't worry, guys. We have uh, more giveaways every time we stream. We have yep. giveaways, so uh, we'll have more uh, of stuff for you guys down in the future. For it sure. It was so close. They were like a millisecond away. Yeah, I, Eddie, I've seen uh, on this chat, but you were looking at yeah. both of them. So congratulations. Congrats, congrats. Great. Uh, you're gonna have a great time playing uh, the digital version and also playing the, the board game, I the physical this. version. This it's okay. amazing, uh, the minis are great and you'll see lots of similarity, of course we base our character on the minis uh, for the digital version. They're different but because they're made for digital but uh, the minis are amazing, you can paint them. Uh, all right. So, so you guys, if you don't have Tales from Candle Keep game yet, it's now out uh, with the discount on bun Bundle Stars and Greenman Gaming, the game is also on Steam. Yeah, and the price is even on Steam is, is pretty low. It's like seventeen bucks or something. Canadian, like that. It's Canadian, 15, so that's fifteen US. US. Yeah, yeah, we're Great Canadian, price. so we have yeah. Canadian prices. <laughs> so and there's yeah, I've seen people uh, going through normal in like 20, 24 hours, depending on depends the depends on your yeah. Your so it's just the normal mode. And remember, guys, you know, you have all of these three modes to go through, and each time you're repeating the quests, they're different, never the same experience. And we have more coming. More and content. we keep, keep coming, adding stuff, and making the game better. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. So that was Sophie and Fred. Thank you. Playing Tales from Candlekeep Tomb of Annihilation. And we'll be back next week, same time, with more game time and more giveaways. Yeah, also, hope so. Bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Bye, Thank everyone. you so much. Thank you.